guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a first impression, um, live swatch and demo on this box. It looks so pretty on the outside, doesn't it? Um, this is the Plessy. I don't speak French. Plessy. It's P-L-A-I-S-I-R. Let's pretend it's Plessy for now. <laughs> Plessy box from the brand called So Eva. And I love so Eva. I love the brushes. And um, but I've never tried their eyeshadows before. So I got this box set. This is a box set for their eyeshadow palettes. I believe it's for the holiday. Um, I got this for forty eight pounds from beautybay.com. It opens up like this. It's so pretty on the inside too. It's like you're gonna get a golden ticket or something. Golden ticket, you know? You know the reference? <laughs> um, anyway, it comes in three eyeshadow palettes, um, Cocoa Blend, Cocoa Blend, um, Caramel Melange and Block Fusion and let's check them out. They look like chocolate bar. This one, the Cocoa Blend one, looks like milk chocolate bar. This one of course looks like caramel chocolate bar and this one looks like white chocolate bar. Um, out of these three, this Cocoa Blend one is actually an old palette. Um, so you've probably heard of it before or even owned it before. And so this is old, but the rest of the two, they are new for the for the box. The brand new release. Um, so I'm really excited, really, really excited. Um, each eyeshadow palette comes in an individual sleeve. So it's like double protection. Um, so now I'm going to show you um, what the eyeshadow looks like in the palettes for now and later in this video you're going to see a eyeshadow swatch on my arm each eyeshadow, all of them and then I'm going to show you how I create this eye look um, using some colours in all of these three palettes so if you're interested please keep on watching So first I'm going to show you the Cocoa Blend palette. Um, the packaging looks really sleek, really thin palette, mixed out of a uh, cupboard. Um, but it doesn't feel cheap, it feels actually quite good quality and quite sturdy. And it has a magnetic closure, so it's really good. And inside looks like this. It doesn't come with a mirror. Uh, for me, I personally don't mind because I don't use... Um, um, the mirror inside any eyeshadow palettes no matter how big the mirror is um, but I know that it might bother some of you so yeah um, the packaging looks really pretty the eyeshadow looks even prettier um, it has some matte finish it's like a mix like matte here and then satin finish like randomly placed and a bit of glitter one here so this is what it looks like here can't you wait for the actual eyeshadow swatches <laughs> and in the next palette I'm going to show you is the caramel melange again really sleek and pretty packaging inside looks like this look at it um, it actually reminds me of the um, Anastasia what's it called modern renaissance palette it's like the same kind of orangey reddish kind of tone um, so pretty. Again, it's like a mix, some matte, some satin, some shimmer, shimmery shadow. Not bad. One palette, you get all three finishes. Um, last but not least is the um, Blanc Fusion one. Um, this one, it's more on the cool tone side. Uh, with a bit of gold, yellow kind of eyeshadows. Um, this one doesn't have any um, glitters, it's like um, satin finish on top and matte finish at the bottom. So now let's head on to the actual eyeshadow swatches. Warm tone white. This is what it looks like on my skin. This one is a very natural uh, white. You can use it on your brow bone and or like all over the base like to um, create a really neutral kind of eye look and then the next one is um, called 
Switcheran. This is a um, shimmery, almost nude color. It is really pretty. Yep, this is a shimmery nude. Really pretty. Not sure if it could show up on my um, light yellow undertone skin. The next one is a very, very pretty, like, shimmery burgundy color called Warm Notes. Oh, this is just so pretty. Look, oh, so pigmented and pretty. It's really nice. It's almost like um, wine red color, like burgundy, wine red. Really pretty. It's great for a night look. And then next is um, a, another shimmery color. This is called, it's really hard to see really, um, Subtle, Subtle Blend. It's a um, shimmery brown color. There you go. It's really pretty. I like this so a lot. It has some like really gold kind of shimmer in it. Oh, so pretty. And then next is a matte color. It's called Beans of White. It's weird. It's a like brownish dark black color, but it's called. It's a bit um chalky, but you can expect that from a matte um, eyeshadow because the pigment's quite um, dense. It's not bad. It's quite a bit um, chalky. Um, this, so this is five colors of the first rows, and then next I'm gonna swatch um, this really pretty shimmery gold color called Pure Ganache. Pure Ganache. Oh my god, look at it. It's so pretty, this one. Look, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's lovely, it's really smooth, buttery, pigmented. It's just, oh, everything. The next one is a uh, matte color. Actually, it's not matte, it has a really slightly um, shimmer in it. It's called Substitute for Love. It's a um, mustard brown color with a little bit of um, gold shimmer. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a slight shimmer in it. This one would be a quite nice um, all over color for your eyelid. Not bad. This palette is actually quite warm, as you can tell um, from the swatch so far. Um, next is another matte color. It's called um, Freshly Toasted. Yeah, it's a reddish brown here. Again, it's really pretty brown. It's matte again. It's not that. Like, I think all matte colors like that. Um, a bit chalky, a bit patchy, but. It's a matte colour, what can you say? And the next one is, oh this one's so pretty too, I can, t I can see it can make a really really nice um, um, nail polish colour really, it's called Infusion. This is a um, greyish dark colour with some gold shimmer in it. So pretty. Every colour is so pretty to me. Um, and then last but not least, the last colour is a shimmery um, light purple colour, it's called Delicate, As um, Delicate Acidity um, and this is what it looks like it's just, oh, I mean, oh I love this palette, I don't know, I'm really really um, excited to try out the rest of the two palettes but I've just seen my favourite colour from this Cocoa Blind palette is um, this reddish colour it's just so oh, gorgeous and Actually, I also like, really like this um, gold colour. Just, ah, oh, so pretty. I'm not very impressed by the matte colour so far, but we'll see. Maybe in, you know, some other palette will be um, quite nice too. Next, I'm going to try out the um, Caramel Melange palette. So, this is the swatch. This is a matte white. Can't really tell from my skin tone. I'm going to add more. There you are. Yep, this is more to the true white. It is a matte white wax paper. Nothing really special about it, but it's still like buttery. And then the next color is another matte. Um, this is called Universal Delight. This is a very natural light brown, really good for um, a transition color for your crease. You can tell. I don't know if you can tell from my skin tone. It's a almost like a um, like skin color, really. Um, medium skin color. Um, then next is a oh, this is my favorite. Uh, it's called Aftertaste. It is a orangey red. It's so pretty. Again, it's a matte. This is orangey. From the camera, it's more brown, but um, in real life, 
um, a small orange. I just love orange, everything. Orange lipsticks, orange blushes, orange eyeshadows. I don't know, just so pretty. Um, and then next is called 182 degrees Celsius. I don't know if like, you know, it's a special degree thing in the dessert industry, chocolate industry, I don't know. But this is a shimmery brown, almost like a copper rose gold colour. Oh, so pretty. It's like a a cousin from this orange matte colour and this nude matte colour. Just their cousin. And maybe just me? I don't know. And next is um this really shimmery brown tone burnt copper colour. It's called Liquid Santa. Oh my god, look at it. It's so smooth and buttery. There you go. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Love it. And then next is called Alchemy. It's a matte um, colour. Oh, this is quite smooth as a matte. It's alchemy. I like it. It's a um, light, lighter bright colour, if it makes sense. And next, it's a pretty similar brown colour. It's called Start Soft. Oh, it's just so smooth, this one. It looks like nothing special. It's like a normal brown colour, but yeah, they look pretty similar. But in person, this one is more red and this one is more brown. And then next is called uh, Finish Central. Um, this is a more, has a more grey purpley undertone. Yep, this is another matte. As you can see, a bit chalky. This is the thing. A bit chalky, but it's quite smooth. It's really nice pigment. Just pretty, pretty colour. And next is another gold colour. I don't know, like this gold is more yellowy. And it's called Almost Burned. This is a more like a white gold colour, true gold, I'll say. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. This gold, almost bent. My heart's almost bent. Next, and it's another purple colour. I think like from the Coco Blind palette, they include a purple colour as well. This one is called um, Edible Gem. This is a um, like royal purple with like gold shimmer in it. This colour is a bit patchy. It's like basically it's like a matte and like some gold glitter. Like see. It's different from this like satin colour. And this is more like a gold glitter on top of a matte shadow. Um, not bad. This palette is um, more on the same colour tone. So you can tell it's more orangey, brown, red. So yeah. Um, from this palette, my favourite has to be this um, shimmery brown colour. This one's called Liquid Santa. Yep, this one's so pretty here. Yeah. And the orange colour that I thought I would like not so much from the swatch because, again, it's a, matte it's a matte eyeshadow. A bit patchy, a bit chalky, but this one's oh, so pretty. Watch the Blanc Fusion palette. This is like the white, a white chalk. Oh, can you tell? There's a yellow shift in it. Ooh. Interesting. Can you see? Oh, I didn't expect that. This white is called um, Noble. It's a um, cool tone white, but has a really, really pretty white gold color shimmer in it. So it's really different, really. Um, as you can tell, like there's a really, really pretty shift in it. Oh, it's almost like holographic. <laughs> interesting. Um, gonna clean my finger. Oh, it's just really interesting. Um, next colour is called um, Single Origin. This is a yellow gold colour. Well, it's, on camera it's pretty much the same. On camera it's pretty much the same as the um, white colour there. It just... Can you tell the difference? But in real life, they're pretty similar, uh, similar from the um, camera. But in real life this one is more yellow. A bit more yellow. They have pretty much the same um, finish as well. This one has a like white and then yellow shift in it, and then this one is yellow. Well, it, it basically they are like um, brothers, but this one has a white base and gold shimmer. This one has a yellow base but a white shimmer. It's interesting. Very interesting. Did expect that. And then next is a mustard color. This is 
Satan finish, Satan finish, visions of gold. This is like a, a block of gold. Yellow. See, true, not true, like mustard yellow, gold color. I'm not quite into this kind of color. I don't really know how to use yellow eyeshadow to be honest. And then next is a um, shimmery um, brown, late bloomer. This is more like a jewel color, I don't know, like copper, metallic kind of color, this one. So pretty, again, it's more to the gold side. side. And then next is called Sweetness Lingers, it's a uh, brown shimmery color with a bit of purple in it. I just love the shimmer colour in this palette, like these three palettes. Like so either a good job on the shimmer. Work a bit hard on the matte. And then clean my finger. They just have a combination of matte and shimmer, so I have to be careful. Next is called Travel Inspired. It's a really cool toned pinkish colour. Can't really tell from my skin tone. Um can't tell from my skin tone but it's a pinkish nude colour it's quite pretty actually um, just use it like all over the base as a base colour it's quite good it's quite smooth ready to apply and then next is a matte light brown joy in a box is a more darker version of the previous one Again, doesn't show up on my skin tone quite well, but yeah, this is actually quite good for a subtle transition colour. Not bad, not bad. Next is, um, not sure how to pronounce it. Conquet? Conchet? Conquet? I don't know. This is a... Oh, this just doesn't show up the colour. This shadow is not as good, I think. You know, sometimes palettes have like, one or two shadows that's like nice pigment and stuff this is a quite regular brown color i have to say matte nothing much to say about it nothing special and then next is um question of taste another brown this is like a can you tell the color is lighter than the color what it seems like on the palette itself just quite light in, it's good in a way because it means that it's like really easy for beginners um, you don't have to worry about keep blending 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 um, and then last but not least the color is called last bite this is a purplish dark brown color another matte it's like almost gray on the skin yeah this palette like has more matte than shimmer the first row is shimmer the bottom row is matte so here are the colour. Uh, yep. So here are the colour. So after the swatches, I'm going to create an eye look using some colours from all of these three palettes. They're now lying in front of me all opened up so I get to see what colour I get to work with. Um, I haven't really decided um, what look I'm going for yet. So I'm going to go with the flow wing it and see what I'll end up with. I've already um, done my foundation, contour and my eyebrows so let's get started!
eyeshadow. So I just finished the rest of my makeup. Um, on camera, the lips is a bit red, but in person, like, it's not that red. So yeah. Anyway, back to the main guy, the eyeshadows. I really, really like these eyeshadows. Like they're really easy to work with, really blendable, and oh, the finish is just gorgeous. Like it looks really, really pretty, and the shimmer is not chunky. It's not like you know cheaply made because some eyeshadows you could already tell that it's like it looks cheap but this looks oh so pretty but anyway these three eyeshadows palettes in a box called cost 48 pounds 48 pounds so 48 pounds you get three palettes or three of them really good quality um but personally i would use this one the least the block fusion because this is more on the cool tone side I uh, personally prefer uh, warm toned eyeshadows and but these two are amazing um, anyway um, I'm pretty sure that you could buy the cocoa blend one individually because they released it um, a couple of years ago but these two um, they're new so I'm not quite sure um, but yeah I recommend all three of them basically the whole box set a hundred percent amazing go check them out um, anyway um, this is the end of my video if you like it please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos I'll see you next time bye bye